from I Am Resilient and I'm here to lead you through one of my favorite yoga practices. So this is an overall quick 45 minute practice for your mind, body, and your soul. And um, I invite you to start in a seated position. So you can be cross-legged or um, with your heels stacked on top of one another. And um, it's also helpful to be sitting on a pillow or bolster to give you a little bit more space. Um, or if you are a experienced practitioner with loose hips, you can sit in Padmasana. So bring your hands to your knees, close your eyes, and begin to breathe. And notice how the breath is presenting in the body. It might be deep or shallow. It might be rigid or smooth, and just notice. Notice the frequency of the bubbling thoughts that are coming up. They may be fast, or you may be quite peaceful. And without judging or labeling yourself, just notice. Notice how these are, and notice how they feel in the body, in the mind. And then begin to deepen the breath. So draw the inhale in through the nose. Fill the belly, chest, lungs, and throat. And then exhale, release from the throat. And then if you can, release all the way down to the belly, releasing all of the air out of the belly. Inhale into the bottom of the belly, the chest, the lungs, and the throat. And exhale, release from the throat, the chest, the lungs, and lastly, the belly. And take three more slow breaths just like this. And see if you can really smooth out those breaths, make them long and fluid. And relax the shoulders and the sit bones. Relax the temples, the jaw, the forehead. Good. And set an intention for your practice. Why are you taking the time to come to your mat today? Hopefully it's to really nourish yourself. And then you can open your eyes and come to a tabletop position. So place your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And on the inhale, drop the belly towards the floor, gaze up towards the sky, reach the sit bones towards the sky, roll the shoulders back. And on the exhale, press through the hands, the tops of the feet around the spine. Inhale, drop the belly towards the floor, roll the shoulders towards the spine, gaze up. And on the exhale, press through the hands, the tops of the feet, round into an angry cat position. Inhale, slowly come forward, try to make this movement fluid. And exhale, allow the spine to round, tucking the tailbone. And we'll do two more just like that. So use your breath to navigate the movements. Allow the muscles around the neck to soften if you're scrunching them around your ears. Good. And on your next inhale, come to a neutral spine. Gaze over the left shoulder of the left toes and take a full breath into the right side body. Good, inhale back to center. Gaze over your right toes, at, over your right shoulder at your right toes. Take a full breath in. Beautiful. And then sit your hips back. You can have your knees wide and your toes together and really reach those hands forward. Press into the palms, lower the forehead to the floor. Take two full breaths here, lengthen through the armpits and reach further away with your fingers. 
Try to soften on the exhale while keeping engagement through the arm. Soften your chest towards the floor. Good. On your inhale, pick up your hands and walk them over to the left side. As far as you can, reach through that right palm, paste it to the floor, and allow the right hip to work towards the right heel. Take a deep breath into the right side body, getting a really great stretch on that side. Good. And then pick up your forehead, walk your fingertips all the way off to the opposite side. Tap the left palm towards the floor. Bring the left hip closer to the left heel and take a deep breath into the left side body. Relax the right shoulder towards the floor. Great work. And then on the inhale, come back to center. Come back onto your knees and this time we'll plant your hands into the floor. Bring your index fingers to point towards the front of the mat. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back into downward facing dog. You may need to walk the feet closer or further away from your hands and then relax the muscles around the neck, drop the head. Bend one knee and straighten the other and allow your hips to kind of sway from side to side. Bring some movement into this pose. Option always to bring your knees down if we're in a pose and you're feeling like your wrists are fatigued. And do some wrist circles. Um, otherwise, stay here in downward dog. Just catch your legs straight and work your heels towards the floor. Drop your head. Take two full breaths. Inhale fully into the belly. And exhale completely from the belly. Good. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale, soften the knees, gaze towards the palms, step, walk, or hop to the front of the mat. And then on the inhale, gaze forward, lengthen through the spine. And on the exhale, fold all the way over the legs. Good. And we're going to stay here in this forward fold. Um, so allow your hands to grab opposite elbows, bend a little through the knees and rock from side to side. Allow the head to hang heavy and release any tension in the temples and the neck. Take a full breath. <sighs> you may want to sigh and release. Good. And then drop the hands towards the floor. If you can, grab hold of the backs of the legs or the big toes and then work your forehead towards your legs. You can keep the knees bent here if it's comfortable for you. Coming into a more active forward fold. So getting really into the hamstrings. Good. And take three breaths here. So over time, if we find a line between effort and ease, our muscles will begin to lengthen. Breathe deeply and fully. Good. See if you can find a little more space. Release the bind if you have it. And then come all the way to standing. Bring your palms overhead and allow them to come through heart center. Press your palms into your sternum. Good. Wonderful. We're going to roll our shoulders back a few times. So inhale forward and up. Exhale back and down. Inhale forward and up. Exhale back and down. One more. Beautiful. Excellent work. Wonderful. Okay, so come to the front of your mat. I'm going to face you for this one. Bring your arms all the way overhead and your palms together on the inhale. And then reach your hands straight. Point your index fingers towards the sky and cross your thumbs. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. And then on the inhale, reach taller. On the exhale, fold to the left side. Beautiful. Take one full breath. Engage through the abdomen, keeping your integrity in your core. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the opposite side. Big stretch. Good. Take a full breath here. Inhale back to center. We'll do one more breath on each side. So inhale, reach tall. 
exhale fold, inhale reach top, exhale fold, inhale back to center and exhale release the palms, wonderful, come back to the front of your mat. So we'll move into some sun salutations, these warm the body up and really get some um, activation in a lot of the muscles that we use in yoga, uh, preventing injury. So go easy on yourself if you need to stop and come to your knees or that child's pose position, feel free. And then rise, inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Exhale, fold all the way over the legs. Inhale, rise up to a flat back. Exhale, plant both your hands to the floor, step both feet back, pause, and then we're going to lower the knees, chest, and chin to the floor, slowly with control. When you arrive, untuck your toes. Inhale, bring your shoulders towards your spine, coming into a low cobra pose. And we'll stay here just for the first sun salutation setting up, so roll your shoulders towards your spine. Really press through the tops of the feet. Wonderful, if you need to come down, that's okay. Sometimes it's a good test of your back muscles to actually raise your hands off the floor. Good. And then we're going to come back through tabletop, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Take three full breaths here. Lengthen through the backs of the legs and the hands. Option if you're fatigued always to come to tabletop position, bringing your knees down. Good. Breathe fully and deeply. It's the most important thing to lengthen the breath. To tell your body in these stressful poses that everything is going to be okay. Good. One more breath. Excellent. Soften the knees, gaze towards the hands, step, walk, or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, pull all the way over the legs. Inhale, bring your arms all the way overhead, coming up. Exhale, release them through heart center and by your side. Nice. We'll do it a little quicker this time, but if you need to slow down or take variations, feel free. So inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step both feet back, lower the knees, chest and chin, or this time if you'd like to lower slowly through plank, and then come forward into either cobra or upward facing dog with, with your feet on the floor. Allow the chest to shine forward and gaze towards the sky. Exhale, come through tabletop or tuck the toes and come right back into downward facing dog, depending on your strength and, um, and your sort of energy level today. Take two full breaths. Good. Come back to your intention for the class and see if it matches your thoughts and the way you're moving in your practice. If it is to nourish yourself or find peace, see if you can find a little more peace and nourishment in the transitions or in the quality of your thoughts. Soften your knees, look forward, step, walk, or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing, palms overhead. And release them by your side. Beautiful work, excellent. Take a breath if you need to. And then we'll move into the next sun salutation. So inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step the right foot back, lower the back knee, untuck the back toe. Bring your hands to the front thigh. Take a full breath here. Good, option always to back off a little bit. 
If you have lots of length in your hips, you can sink down a little deeper and maybe heel toe the foot towards the front of the mat. Inhale, arm all the way ahead if you can. Keep integrity in your um, core. And also press down through the back toes and the front foot. Good, find your breath. Beautiful, one more breath. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Lower the knees, chest and chin, or through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Beautiful. Take two full breaths. Continuing to reach those sit bones up to the sky. Beautiful. And then on your next inhale, lift your right leg towards the sky, point the toes towards the floor. And on the exhale, step it through between the palms, lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. And this time coming into a lunge on the opposite side, root through both of those feet, and then bring your hands to your front thigh. Excellent. Check in with your front foot and make sure it's stacked under your knee. And then allow yourself to sit a little bit taller. Bring the chest forward a little bit more. Good. Inhale, arms reach towards the sky. Drop your shoulders away from the ears and reach through your palms. Find those slow, nourishing breaths. palms towards the floor. This time, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, and step the back foot up to meet the front, and then fold over the legs. Good. Inhale all the way back to standing. Bring your palms overhead, and release them through heart center and by your side. Excellent work. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, plant the hands. Step this time the left foot back. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toe. Bring your hands to your front thigh. And then when you're ready, sweep your arms overhead if it's accessible. If this is too challenging for you, you can keep your hand here and feel free to back off again. Good. If it's not challenging enough, feel free to make this a back bend, interlacing your fingers. Wherever you are, make sure you can breathe. Good. Two more breaths. Good. Plant the hands on the exhale. Tuck the back toe. Lift the back knee. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Again, lower, either through chaturanga, push-up position, or all the way. And then inhale into your back bend, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale the left leg towards the sky, point the back toe. And then exhale, step it through between the palms, lower the back knee, untuck the back toe, bring your hands to your front thigh. Good. Take a full breath here. Ground yourself. Find stability in your base. In yoga, they say sometimes root to rise. So if you press into the floor, into your foundation, you make your foundation really strong, just like anything you can grow and excel. Inhale, arms all the way overhead. Good. Just like when you start with the foundation by leading yourself Getting really clear on who you are, your morals, your values, and what you want, and become a better leader. Good. One more breath. Excellent. Plant the hands this time. Tuck the back toe. Lift the back foot up to meet the front. Bow over the legs. Surrender. Inhale. Come all the way back to standing. Palms overhead, release them through heart center into prayer. 
and by your side. Excellent. This time we'll come into a different type of sun salutation. So bring your feet about a hip width distance apart. Option in this position actually to bring the toes together and the heels apart. Um, but most of us have, um, it's more accessible to actually separate our feet. So <laughs> inhale, palms overhead. We're going to sit down into Utkatasana. Keep your chest tall, sit your hips a little deeper. Look down and see if you can see your big toes. Sit back a little further. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Reach those fingertips towards the sky. Excellent. One more breath. And we'll stay for the inhale. And then on the exhale, fold over the legs. Good. Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, flat the hands, step both feet back, lower the knees, chest and chin or through chaturanga. Inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Beautiful. Lift the right leg towards the sky, point the toes. And on the exhale, step up between the palms. This time, step the back foot in slightly, point the toe at 45 degrees. And then bend through that front knee and get really rooted in that front leg and we'll come into warrior one. So you can always bring your hands to your front thigh and sweep the arms all the way overhead. Good. This is a little different from warrior two. So you want to square your hips to the front of the room. Excellent. You can change your foot position. So if you're feeling a little unsteady, feel free to separate the feet. Or if you're feeling like you need more of a challenge, Feel free to bring them together and then bring the arms overhead. Good. Reach through those fingertips, open up the hip. Draw the front ribs down if you can. Good. And find your breath. Good. This pose can look wildly, wildly different for different people. So some people may have their foot way up here, they may have a really, really open hip flexor, um, and some people, everything might be a little more bent, and they might have a wider stance. So uh, make it what you like, and wherever you are, just make sure you're having those long, slow breaths. Good. And then plant your hands on the ground. We're going to step the right foot back to meet the left, and move through again, plank position. And then all the way to the floor or through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, bring the left leg up, point the toe. And then exhale, step it through to the palms. And then step the back foot in slightly, point the toes at 45 degrees. And when you're ready and grounded through your feet, come all the way up. Good, excellent. Again, the roots through that back foot. See if you can lengthen that back leg. And then sink into that left leg a little bit more. Square the hips as much as you can towards the front of the mat. Good, and soften the temples and the jaw. Find your breath. Let it be slow and smooth. Good, one more breath. And on the exhale, plant the hands. This time, step the left foot back to meet the right. You may need to adjust your stance and step the feet back further. Lower the knees, chest and chin, or again through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upper Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Beautiful. Spend three slow breaths here. Come back again to your intention, your thoughts. Beautiful. Soften the knees, gaze towards the hands, step walk or hop to the front of the mat. On the inhale, uh, lengthen the spine, and on the exhale, fold over the leg. 
Good. Inhale, come all the way to standing, palms overhead. Release them through your heart center and then by your side. Beautiful. Take a minute if you need to. You can take some water. And then the next pose we're going to come into is called Eagle Prep Pose. Yes. So, I've been seeing a lot of eagles around here lately. I'm not sure if it's the place or the time of year, but it's just so magical. They're so huge. I know I posted a video on Garuda, uh, the king of the birds. <laughs> we did eagle pose. So this is a little different. This is eagle prep pose. So spread your left toes, place them firmly on the floor. The same thing we talked about before. If you're rooted in your foundation, it is easier for you to grow taller and to branch out and expand. So take your right leg, actually cross it over your left. This may just be here. You may have um, a little bit of limited flexibility, that's okay. So stop wherever you feel like you need to. Bring your hands to your heart center. We will begin to sink down into our hips. If you can, you can rest your forearms on your leg, shine your chest forward. Knees can be towards the floor if it's comfortable for you, it's easier to ground. And then flex your left, your sorry, your right toes. Take a full breath. Good, and then come all the way back up, release. Shake it out if you need to. Beautiful. Just going to fix something. There we go. Perfect. And then um, spread your right toes on the floor. Again, get really rooted through that foot. It might just help to, um, to spend some time lifting your left leg. This is actually great for yoga. You feel all of your fibers in your foot, your muscle fibers, all of those muscles firing away. So I'm building balance is some sometimes as simple as just standing on one foot. So again, we'll flex our toes of our left. If we can, cross it over the right. Just avoid the knee joint, so we'll allow it to be a little bit higher. And then continue to open that leg towards the side of the room. Bring your hands to your heart center, and then slowly begin to move full. You may notice one hip is significantly tighter than the other. Um, for me, it is this one, so really give yourself some space. Fix your gaze, and then breathe. Focus on the sound and the length of the breath. One more breath. And then release, come all the way to standing. Shake it out if you need to, fantastic work. Good. And then come to stand at the front of your mat. We are going to lift up our left leg and take a full step back. So our back leg is parallel to the back edge of the mat and the right heel lines up with the left arch. Bring your hands all the way parallel to the floor and then bend deeply into that right leg. Excellent. If you can, gaze down and see the right big toe. And if you can't quite see it, see if you can work on externally rotating that right leg. Bring strength into the back leg, and then gaze over the right fingertips. Sink a little bit deeper, lengthen the back leg a little bit more, and just notice where you're feeling this. If it's feeling a little too tight, a little too much pinching or any pain, back off a little bit and find your breath. Good, just one more breath. Good. And then bring your right arm to the thigh and sweep your left arm all the way overhead alongside the ear. Option here to bring the right hand to the floor and reach the left up towards the sky, or to take a bind if it's in your practice, reaching the right arm underneath the leg, opening the chest. 
Wherever you are, make sure that you can breathe and that it is sustainable. The practice is for nourishment, not stress. <laughs> Good. One more breath. Beautiful job. Slowly come up to standing. Keep that stance apart. Straighten that right leg. Bring your arms parallel to the floor. And then allow the hips to move back in space. Allow your, your um, right arm to reach towards the front of the mat. Allow the right arm to float down towards the floor. And left arm towards the sky. Keep the opening of your chest. If it's comfortable, you can bring your hand to your leg or even up higher. Just keep your shoulders away from your ears and keep your, your spine long as much as you can. Gaze can come up towards the sky or down towards the foot to ground or just towards the side of the room. Some people prefer to practice with their hand on the outside of their leg. Good. Just one more breath. Slow and fluid. Good. Bring a soft bend to that knee. Come all the way up. Beautiful job. And they'll simply just switch sides. So heel toe your uh, right foot parallel to the other edge of the mat. The left toes face maybe the back of your room. And then stick into that left leg. Bring your arms parallel to the floor. Really root through the outer edge of that back foot as well as the inner edge. So there's a slight pulling up of the sole of the foot. Good, some activation there. Beautiful. See if you can relax your shoulders a little bit more, but keep your fingertips engaged. And then again, gaze down at that left toe, make sure you can see it. And if you can't, find an outer rotation of the thighs. Good, beautiful. How is your breath? Can you make it a little more smooth? Good, one more breath. And then lower the hand to the thigh, sweep the right arm all the way overhead alongside the ear. And then again, you can bring your hand to the floor, reach your right arm up, or you can take a bind if it's in your practice but wherever you are, make sure it is nourishing you. Good. Just two more breaths. Reach through those palms. Make the side body long. and then come all the way up to standing straight through that back leg and then reach your left hand forward allow the hips to come back and reach your arms all the way parallel to um, I want to say the windows but maybe just parallel to your door whatever is in front of you your smartphone <laughs> good gaze can be up towards the sky or down at the floor One more breath. Soften through that left leg, come all the way to standing, and then allow the feet to be parallel this time. And we will bring our hands to our hips, roll the shoulders back, allow the elbows to come together, and then keep engagement through the abdomen if you can, through the core, the rectus abdominis, and begin to hinge at your hips, and try not to push backwards too much, try to just fold forward. So keep the spine long. You can even reach your hands back and feel your spine and how it's lengthening. Keep it long as if somebody were pulling your, your head or a string from the top of your head. Keep that neck length lengthened. And then as you begin to round, you can allow the head to fall towards the floor. 
When you arrive there, you can bring your hands to the floor if that's comfortable for you. Or you can even reach for the big toes or the outer edges of the feet and then bend through the elbows. You may just want to make this passive and hold opposite elbows with your hands and allow the head to hang heavy. Wherever you are, release the tension in your jaw and your forehead. We'll be here for five breaths, so make wherever you are a sustainable place to be. You may be able to find some extra length to move into throughout these breaths, that's normal. Beautiful. And then we are actually just going to pivot our feet. So we'll come into pyramid pose. Um, you may want to have your feet a little wider here for stability. Um, so maybe just less than the length or the width of your mat. And then um, square your hips to the front of the room and bring your hands to your hips. Really allow those elbows to draw together. Shine your chest forward and slowly begin to hinge forward over that front leg. Good. And again, pause when you feel your back begin to round. See if you can lengthen a little bit taller and then allow yourself to round down over the right leg. Your hands can come down alongside the foot or you can just allow your arms to be passive where they fall. Wherever you are, relax the forehead root into both feet and find the breath. Two more breaths. Good, bring your hands to your hips, draw your shoulders together, bend slightly through that front leg. Engage through the leg to come all the way up. And we'll simply switch feet here. So step to the front of your mat. Step the right foot back, point the toes at about 45 degrees. Um, you can have them both uh, facing closer to forward if it's comfortable for you, but sometimes that can create a little bit of instability. And then when you're ready, begin to hinge over the legs. Keep drawing the shoulders back. Keep drawing the chest forward. The neck is long. And ideally, you'll have your hips continue to face the front of the room. Good. Again, begin to round down. You can bring your hands down around the foot, or you can bring them to blocks. I encourage you to pay attention to what your body is telling you. There's a lot of tightness in the hips. And uh, if you need to back off a little bit, I encourage that. Allow the forehead to rest. Allow the breath. And then through that front knee, bring your hands to your hips, engage through the legs to push you all the way to standing. Beautiful work. All right. And then we'll step both of our legs to the front of the mat. And this time we'll come all the way down to a seated position. So allow the legs to stretch long in front of you. Draw your arms all the way overhead, palms together. Point your toes and slowly begin to hinge all the way over the legs coming into Paschimottanasana or forward fold. Allow the forehead to rest heavily on the legs. Your hands can be alongside you. 
in this passive pose or if you prefer to hold the feet, you can. Find your breath. One more slow breath. Good, come all the way back up to a seated position. Release your hands alongside you and come to lying on your back. And when you arrive there, just draw your knees into your chest, give them a squeeze. And then separate the knees. If you can, reach for the feet or the, the toes or the outer edges of the feet and then draw the knees closer to the armpits. If you'd like to just hold your knees, this is an option too. Wherever you are, breathe into the space of your belly and allow the breath to be quite passive, beginning to cool the body down. Even in these last poses, allow them to be a little more restful. And then release the bottom of your feet, draw your knees back into your chest. Allow your arms to come to a T-shaped position and your knees to fall over to the left-hand side. If it is comfortable for you, you can bring your left hand to the outer edge of the right thigh and gaze off towards the right. Allow the breath to come and go naturally. Allow your shoulders to relax towards the floor. Allow the jaw, the tongue to relax. And see if you can soften a little bit more, relax the feet. And then bring your knees back up into your chest. Bring your left arm back out to the side, allowing your knees to drop over to the right. Bring the right hand to the outer edge of the left thigh and twist toward the left. Relax the shoulders towards the floor. You can close the eyes. Again, relax the shoulders. Notice your thoughts, if they begin to wander, bring them back to the breath. Back to the releasing of any tightness in the body. Good. And then draw your knees back to your chest. Release some log on your mat. Release your arms alongside you, palms open. And bring your shoulder blades closer towards your spine. Open your chest, close your eyes. Take a few big breaths and maybe sigh on the exhale. Allow this time, this final resting pose, Shavasana, for you to integrate your practice, for you to just release, to rest heavy on your mat. I will notify you when this is over, so feel free to take full advantage of this time. Finding full release, full passivity. Relax the temples, the jaw, tongue. Relax the neck, the shoulders, the arm, the hands. Allow every finger to be heavy.
relax the chest, the abdomen, the diaphragm. Feel the natural rise and fall of the belly. Relax the pelvis and the hips, the legs, the feet, and all of the toes. Allow your whole body to be supported by the earth beneath you. And allow this time to rest. Take your time. 